Hi guys, today we are going to make, I really need to get some sort of tripod here, but anyways, today we're making chicken wings. So this was like an $11 package of chicken wings at, from Walmart. And you're just gonna stick all the wings on a tray with um, parchment paper. And then you wanna take them and put them like the nice side, like the skin side up. Um, and just sort of lay them all out. I used to put these on a tray, but then I had to clean it. And who wants to clean the tray? So we just go with the parchment paper now. And I don't even do any salt or pepper or baking soda stuff anymore. I guess that's too much hassle. If you want, you can toss, um, not baking soda, baking powder. You can toss your wings like in a bag with some baking powder and, um, maybe salt and pepper but really it's the baking powder that's the most important and what that does is it sucks all the moisture out of the chicken as it's cooking so i have all of my chicken wings laid out so we've preheated the oven to 450 degrees um, and i'm just going to pop these babies in for probably about 50 minutes because i like it crispy you can check it at 40 um, use the meat thermometer just to make sure it's cooked through, but um, I like the skin like extra, extra crispy, and this is going to be so delicious. So stay tuned, and I'll show you what they look like when they're cooked and how I toss them in a nice dry rub. Yep, so that's kind of what they look like on the tray. And I'm not going to show you my kitchen because it's a disaster today. Alright, so I just took the wings out of the oven, and this is what they look like. They're still bubbling and see that little brown crispy stuff see it there it actually tastes really good sometimes I find myself picking it off the parchment paper and eating it but it's just this nice fried crispy goodness and actually you probably can't hear this but anyways it's super crispy and so I'm gonna take it off the tray and toss it in some dry rub from Buffalo Wild Wings okay so I have his wings and her wings, which are mine are the flats and his are the drumsticks because I don't really care for the drumsticks so much. So then I have this Chipotle barbecue seasoning. I think that goes backwards, but it's Chipotle barbecue fire roasted seasoning with a backyard barbecue taste. So I add some of this, oh, not a ton because it can be a little too spicy if you're not careful. Steve, are you wanting this on yours too? Yes, please. All right, I'm probably just going to add like a little bit more seasoning. So this is actually really low carb. All of the Buffalo Wild Wings uh, dry rubs are low carb. Um, some of their wet sauces are low carb. You can only buy the dry rubs at Buffalo Wild Wings in the States, unfortunately. So I got them when I was in Vegas. And um, I should keep cooking, shouldn't I? Um, and then... Uh, but you can get the wet sauces in Canada. There's something, oh, the timer just went. There's something about, um, no, be quiet. Just, Daddy, can you get Carter a drink? Um, anyways, you can get the wet sauces in Canada. And, and um, the dry rubs and the wet sauces in the States. And Steve is having, are you having this on it or on the side? On the side. So Steve got this Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wings sauce at probably where, Walmart? Yeah. And it's got zero carbs, so perfect. I'm gonna put it on the side because it's too much. He says it's too hot, so add it on the side if you're gonna do it, unless you really love super spicy wings. Anyways, I'm just gonna plate this and I'll show you what it looks like with a side of ranch. Anyways, so this is the ranch sauce that I use. I got it at Walmart, it's Lighthouse brand, and it is only one net carb, if you can even read that. Probably not, that is so not focusing. Anyways, it's only one net carb. This is what the wings look like. So I've got two tablespoons of ranch sauce with it, and they are just crispy and delicious, and they're gonna, it's like a comfort food for me. I love it, I hope you like it too.